G'day YouTube and welcome to another episode of Perfecting Pete. As promised in my relaunch video, today we're going to be taking a look at my new weight training program I've spent the last couple of weeks planning out and I've actually already been doing for a week. I'm going to take you through the full three day split along with my new nutrition and supplements program to complement it and I'll finish up with some initial thoughts on how it's been going so far. But first, cue the intro. Well, I'm pretty excited to get stuck straight into this week's topic, but just quickly before I do, if this is your first time joining me, I just wanted to say thanks very much for watching. This channel is dedicated to my honest, no bullshit approach to what fitness, weight loss, and the over-marketed industry that surrounds it. And by tracking my own journey, I hope it inspires at least some of you to get up off that couch and stop resembling it. So if you get any value out of the video, please mash that like button, lean hard on the bright red subscribe button, leave me a comment on the video, or stalk me on my social medias. It should be popping up on your screen right now. Right, let's get stuck into it, shall we? I'm gonna talk fast because we've got a lot of content to cover today. Firstly, the three day split. I picked this approach to muscle building because I'm time poor and quite frankly, I'm bloody lazy, but I still wanna see results. It's a great starting point for beginners because it gives your muscles plenty of time to recover in between and it means that it's pretty easy to reschedule any sessions that you miss due to work, play or whatever. Basically, the program is split into three weekly sessions covering push-based exercises, pull-based exercises, and a leg day. There's a level of design in overlap and muscle groups, but not so much that you don't have a chance to recover properly. Secondly, I've tailored the program around the equipment I already had lying around the house to minimize the expense and to give me the advantage of being able to do each session in front of the TV if I really wanted to and I was feeling particularly lazy. So for the time being, the whole program just requires three pairs of dumbbells and a bench. Obviously, I'm going to outgrow the weights at some point soon, but buying more will be a guilty pleasure as it'll reinforce the progress I've already made. Thirdly, I've stolen this program. And I'm saying this to give props where due, but also to demonstrate just how easy it is to find resources, resources on the internet if you go looking. In short, I took the highest ranked three day split workout program from bodybuilding.com and then I researched each exercise so that I could find an equivalent that works the same muscle groups with roughly the same intensity using dumbbells where I needed to. I'm also a big believer in working the core, so I've added a solid exercise into each session to smash my abs and obliques. I'm gonna run through the actual split program now, but make sure you stick around for the nutrition and supplement section afterwards, as it's super important to fuel your body properly if you wanna see any results from your work. Right, so for each session, I'm doing three sets of each exercise, except for the first one, where I'm doing four. The first exercise in each set should use a weight where your muscle is fatigued by the last rep, but you should stop one or two short of fatigue for the other exercises. I'll also be deloading every six weeks to give the muscles a chance to fully recover, um, which basically just means that I'll drop the weight right down to something that still warms up the muscle, but doesn't work it too hard. Oh, and I'm restricting the break between sets to two minutes. On with the three sessions. Right, so for the first session, I'm doing four sets of four to six reps of dumbbell flat bench, three sets of six to 10 reps of dumbbell seated shoulder press, three sets of six to 10 dumbbell lying tricep extensions, three sets of eight to 15 bicycle crunches. Pretty simple stuff to start with. Um, for session two in the pull session, I'm doing four sets of four to six dumbbell deadlifts, three sets of six to 10 uh, bent over dumbbell rows, three sets of eight to 12 seated dumbbell bicep curls, and I'm seated to prevent cheating from body movement and three sets of reverse planks for a minute a piece. Finally, for the leg session, I'm doing four, to four sets of four to six dumbbell front squats, three sets of six to 10 dumbbell Romanian deadlifts, three sets of six to 10 standing calf races uh, with dumbbells, and three sets of eight to 15 vertical leg crunches. That's it, that's my weights program. Takes about 20 to 25 minutes to complete each session. Uh, so it's nice and quick and easy. On to the all important nutrition. Without going to the science of muscle growth, which perhaps I'll cover in another video at some point, it's important to know a few basics. First of all, your body grows bigger, stronger, and denser muscle tissue as an adapted response to workouts. You're actually tearing and destroying muscle fibers when you work out. The second really important thing to know is that regenerating muscle tissue requires a metric shit ton of protein. Finally, your body requires more energy to build and maintain muscle tissue than it does to keep you shaped like a potato. 
Hence the point of me doing this in the first place, to fire up my metabolism and keep dropping belt sizes while gaining lean muscle mass. So, with all that in mind, I've set my total calorie intake to 1800 calories, which is about 7,500 kilojoules per day, up from the 1500 I was running when I was fasting. I'm sticking with the same 45% protein, 35% carbs, and 20% fat macro splits as before, but this now translates to eating 202 and a half grams of protein, 157 and a half grams of carbs, and 40 grams of fat each day. In terms of supplements, I'm using a heck of a lot of good quality whey, powder, whey protein isolate powder, as I found it really difficult to cram 200 plus grams a day of of protein into my diet using just normal food. I'm sure you could do it, but I'm way too lazy. I'm still using my muscle chef, so that's just how I'm doing it. I'm also taking creatine seven days a week, mainly just because it's lying around the house. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll bother if I'll keep doing it when it runs out, but it helps with muscle mass, uh, muscle gains and strength. It also helps give you a little bit of a, a performance boost when you're actually doing your workout. Uh, I'm also taking BCAAs right after my session, so branch chain amino acids. It's important to get protein into your system as soon as you can after a weight session, um, but protein ultimately gets broken down into a number of amino acids anyway, which is what the body needs to fuel the process of building muscle fibers. So BCAAs are just a nice fast, fast track way of giving my body what it wants after a session. Finally, I'm also using a good quality multivitamin for overall health, a probiotic for gut health, and a thousand milligrams a day of creole oil just to protect my joints and keep my last three brain cells alive. I think that's it for the program itself for now. Um, I've got pretty bad posture, so once I settle into a rhythm, I'll likely add some solid stretches and a couple of exercises in to strengthen my rhomboids and my traps. So your traps are obviously the, the big muscles that everyone loves to work on the pull down machine that run on the outside of your back. Your rhomboids are basically a, another back muscle that sits just underneath the shoulder blades, and that's obviously where I get all the pain from my rolled shoulders. So uh, I'll also need to lengthen the pec minors to help bring my shoulders back. Though the dumbbell rows and reverse planks I've already got in my program are some of the best exercises you can do for rounded shoulders anyway. So really I'll just have to add a couple of, couple of extra stretches. As far as cardio goes, again, once I settle into the sessions, I'll probably add some high intensity interval training on the off days, which is why I bought the skipping rope. But you generally don't want to do too much cardio, like hardcore long distance running, if you're looking to build muscle mass, as they tend to have competing demands on your body's energy requirements. You can actually uh, eat into your muscle mass that you're trying to build if you do too much cardio. So, as I said, I've been following this program for a week now, so I'm gonna finish off with my thoughts so far. Firstly, ouch. <laughs> the first week is always expected to leave you sore, and I certainly experienced that. Uh, the ends of my triceps, along with the tendons connecting them to my forearms, was really where I got most of the pain for a couple of days. I actually struggled to stretch my arms um, completely straight, uh, and I also had some forearm pain, which given I'm using free weights and need to use some stabilizing muscles while I'm lifting, didn't come mu as much of a surprise. I had a touch of bicep pain near the elbow on the left side, um, which is obviously my non-dominant side, and my glutes certainly felt leg exercises. But all in all, it just told me that things were responding as I wanted them to. Oh, and boy, did the top of my abs feel it. Uh, I also found out the hard way that the metal legs on the bench table I have, while certainly stable, aren't quite big or wide enough to provide a, a solid platform for my weighted calf raises exercises. So I had to skip them on legs day, unfortunately, and I'll go source something more suitable for next week's legs session, which will be Friday, I think. I also made sure I started with super low weight. And this is important. I, I needed to, or, you know, particularly when you're starting a weights program, um, you want to put enough weight on there to get some muscle stiffness and soreness after your exercises, usually between 24 and 48 hours afterwards, um, just to start conditioning. But you really want to make sure that you nail your form first to prevent any injuries later on. So um, yeah, start with some low weights. The first week also reminded me, um, as I've known for a very long time, that my triceps are my weakest primary muscle. So I really need to build up that up as a matter of priority. This is really important because at the moment my triceps fatigue well before my pecs when doing bench press, especially since I'm already smashing them during the same session with tricep extensions. And I had similar issues with the shoulder presses. So um, whilst good form helps focus on isolating and working the muscles you're trying to isolate, the reality is that anything that involves your arms to push weight against gravity is either gonna use your biceps or your triceps depending on your position. 
Anyways, I'm, I'm sure it won't be long. Uh, I'm sorry, I sh I'm sure it won't be a long-term issue. Just something I noticed during my first week of exercise. And again, it wasn't unexpected. So I don't really expect to see any visible results for about six weeks, but I'm already feeling the pump. The muscles are denser and tighter in my arms already, and I've only done one, one week of, of the three sessions. So they're all positive signs and I'm feeling good about it. And I'm already actually looking forward to next week's sessions. So um, yeah, so I'm certainly a good start. To make life a little bit easier, I've drawn up some session sheets so I can track my weight and rep changes over time. Um, so I basically just throw them up on my iPad and fill them in during the session. Although I have started looking at some gym tracking apps for the iPhone and iPad, but I haven't found anything I like yet. I might cover that topic in the future if and when I find something that's, you know, worth replacing good old fashioned virtual paper. Um, food's as easy as always, since I'm still tracking my macros in the Lose It app. So that just, you know, simplifies the heck out of it. Uh, I really don't want to lose too mo much more than a kilo a week, else I'd probably be losing more muscle than fat. But the whole point of this new program is that by the time I hit my goal weight somewhere in the, the mid to low 80s range, most of the weight will have converted to lean tissue anyway, and my metabolism will be running a hell of a lot faster, so I'll be much more likely to be able to keep the weight off. And the best part? 12 weeks of this program should drop me right in the middle of summer in Australia, so at least the Greenpeace Wild Rescue team might take, might be able to relax a little this year when I hit the beach. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. I'll be taking photos once a week. I've actually already started for the first 12 weeks of the program, so as embarrassing as it's gonna be for me, stay tuned to see whether there's any visible transformation at the three month mark. And I've got loads more videos coming up soon, so if you want to stay abreast of my progress and catch some more in-depth treatments of the science behind all of this, um, particularly the process of, of um, you know, muscles, uh, muscle fibers being broken down and rebuilt, uh, and some of the high, high level science behind that process, insofar as, you know, it's better to understand that stuff when you're exercising, so you can kind of focus on the right things, particularly nutrition. Uh, I'll also be doing some cool new reviews, which I've got scheduled. Um, make sure if you do want to follow all of that, you hit that like button, you hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment on YouTube, I do reply to everything that comes up, uh, or hit me up on my social media pages, both on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you found the video useful, and you'll join me again soon. Until then, take care and keep picking up those heavy things and putting them back down again. Bye.